let's watch some Netflix. Yeah, this is definitely going to trigger some people. <laughs> Yo! So earlier today, Netflix released a documentary called The Speed Cubers about, well, speed cubers. A Netflix documentary about cubing. This sounds surreal, right? I watched it. I filmed myself watching it and I'm just going to share my thoughts with y'all. There will be some spoilers, but I will try to keep them to a minimum so you can still enjoy watching it afterwards if you haven't already. Alright, so the documentary was basically about the rivalry between Felix Zemnex and Max Park for the World Championships 2019 in Australia. Now, I said rivalry, but I should have said friendship because that's basically what the documentary is about their friendship. Before even getting started, I met both guys. Look, I found the pictures I took with them. I can just show it on the screen. What am I doing? It was at the World Championships in 2017 in Paris. It was really awesome. So we have this one cubing legend, Felix Amdex, having literally more than 100 world records. 100 world... That, that's insane. And then this new kid with a lot of talent, Max, and everyone around Max, his parents, Felix, dealing with his autism. It got emotional, yeah. The vibe was just really emotional. And the way his parents dealt with his autism was so heartwarming. You should really watch it, I can't even explain how good his parents are. To help improve his motor skills, they introduced a cube to him. And two things happened, like he got obsessed over it, but it also taught him a lot of stuff, like social skills and talking with people and just dealing with a lot of things he normally wouldn't deal with. This was uplifting, you know. It, it was a really heartwarming moment. So that's basically who the documentary is about. And after they introduced both guys, it was mostly about their friendship. How Felix deals with Max breaking all of his world records. Because spoiler, Max is really good. And Felix was so supportive to Max. I mean, just their friendship was just so wholesome. The vibes it gave were... I cannot even explain it. Because for Max, Felix is still his idol, but now they're also friends, which... I don't, I don't know, it just felt so wholesome. Then, days before the World Championship, we hear from Felix how important this championship is to him. You know, he has been on the top for all these years. And now this World Championship is in his country, his city, Melbourne. Obviously, he wants to perform really well. And then Max is obviously crazy fast, so he's a top contender as well. So you really want to know, like, what would be the outcome? Like, would Felix win? Would Max win? I don't know. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the outcome was, because if you don't know yet, I don't want to spoil it yet. But I will tell you this. Even though I knew exactly what was going to happen, I was on the edge of my seat all the time. My hair is standing up. Whoa, this gave me the chills. I don't know why, though, because I knew that that happened. I knew that he in the World Championships, but... <laughs> it gave me the chills. I don't know. And the biggest thing here was definitely how... Max dealt with everything happening there, all the attention and all the pressure, etc. And how his parents and Felix supported him through the whole process. And those moments were just really inspiring. They really made something positive out of, spoiler, the not so great place Max got in a 3x3 finals. And on the other hand, Felix was really proud on how well Max did on all the other events. But how he talked about how he started very casually cubing in Melbourne to the world championships being held there. And, spoiler, not performing well. He, he got very emotional. And that moment really got to me. It's pretty sad that it's over. Yes, I was that much into the documentary and I never expected it at all because Felix posted this on his Instagram before I even watched the documentary. So I knew it was going to get emotional because a lot of people answered yes to it, but I'm a man, you know, so I didn't expect to get emotional myself, but it happened. So that really must mean that the documentary does a great job of pulling you into the story. It was awesome. A must watch if you're a cuber. If you're a cuber and you don't see it, I don't... I don't even know, just get out of here. But even for non-cubers, it is a really inspiring story about friendship. And seeing this kid with autism flourishing over a hobby that is twisting a cube. Now to share my overall thoughts and review of the documentary, I'll quickly share my reaction right after I saw it. This was so good. I really didn't know what to expect. You know, I was like, you know, this is going to be on Netflix. 
But then again, it's about cubing, and cubing is not that big, you know? They did an amazing job. Yeah. I, I don't know whether I got so emotional because this is something that's part of me. You know, cubing is something that is obviously important for me. Or it is just an amazing story. I think it's both. Like, most people watching would, would never expect, like, this kind of ending because... Like, obviously, we Cubers knew what was going to happen. Like, we knew the outcome of the 2019 World Championships, but a lot of people don't. And that can be, like, a really unexpected ending. But even when I knew what was going to happen, I was I was on the edge of my seat, and I, I was so into the story. Like, even when Max did his last solve, I was like, what is he going to get? Like, is he... Is he going to become world champion? And that's so silly because I knew that he wouldn't. And he dealt with it so well. Like, it, it was okay. You know, he said it, it's okay. And then his mother, Nikki, said, that's winning for us. That's beautiful. <laughs> Normally I'm like the this, this super happy guy, but I don't know, this, this just hit me. There were some fun parts in there as well, but most of it was super emotional. I kind of like that. I always tell my girlfriend that if, if a movie ends in a good way, then you can place it and, you know, you forget it. But when it doesn't, you're like always thinking about like how it could have ended and, you know, it just stays with you. And the ending here was kind of double because Felix didn't perform really well on the World Championship 2019 and the way he explained it, like how important it was for him, like he's been on the top of cubing 10 years and he didn't get a single podium. Like regardless of the outcome, people will still say that he's the best cuber, but that must have been really hard for him and he, he got very emotional. I think that's what hit me because like he's the guy I really look up to. Such a great documentary. I did not expect this at all. Thanks a lot for everyone who worked on this. Chris Olsen, I knew you had a huge part in this, in the making of this. You did an awesome job, like everyone who worked on it. Felix Emnix for doing this. Max Park for being so brave and strong to actually taking part in this. It's like, especially knowing how his autism is. That's actually really courageous of him to actually still want to do this. Definitely give it a watch. I, uh, that's all for this video. It was awesome. Now, finally, I want to hear from you guys. Did you see it? Did you like it? What's your thoughts? Because it's about us, guys. It's about cubing on Netflix. That's insane. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it one. And if you want to see more of me, just subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're all awesome. Pablo, where is he? <laughs> He's still alive, guys. Did you like the documentary? He says yes, guys. I guess I will see you in the next video. Ciao.